to my channel so in this video i'll be considering the review of the third match of the ipa 2024 that is actually held on 23rd march saturday between kkr and sunrise hyderabad the match was actually played in indian gardens kolkata so the draws for this match was actually won by sunrise hyderabad and they decided to bowl first so kkr actually batted first so kkr actually started their innings with uh, the openers phil salt and sunil narayan the all rounder so they actually um, so the phil salt actually started very positively and uh, the, the score is 23 in the second ball of the the sixth the last ball of the second over when uh, the first wicket actually fell in the form phil, uh, in the sunil narayan sunil narayan dismissed for just two runs of four balls his wicket uh, he was he, he was out uh, dismissed uh, run out by shahab samad uh, so the bulk of the scoring was actually sold in the first two overs by phil salt and then venkatesh air actually joined uh, uh, phil salt and venkatesh air also could not last match when the score reached 32 in the third ball of the fourth over venkatesh air was dismissed so at that time the kkr hardly had a run rate of around 8 runs per over and venkatesh air was dismissed uh, by uh, natarajan uh, caught by mako jansen he scored only 7 runs of 5 balls uh, with a uh, with one force at a strike of 140 then uh, shreya air actually joined phil salt but shreya air was also dismissed for a duck I mean the in the fifth ball of the fourth over so the score was actually at around 32 for 3 so kk were actually having around it for 8 per over so his wicket also picked by natarajan caught by pat cummins and uh, and then nidish rana actually joined phil salt uh, but nidish rana could not join much uh, could not actually contribute much he actually was dismissed when the score reached uh, 51 in the third ball of the eighth over so at that time they were actually having a run rate of around uh, 7 to 8 runs per over and uh, so uh, nitish rana actually uh, nitish rana scored 9 of 11 balls and at strike rate 81 he was dismissed by mayam arkande caught by rahul tripathi and then damandeep singh actually joined uh, philip salt and uh, they actually built a partnership of around 54 runs and bulk of the scoring was actually done by ramandeep singh and uh, in a span of just around 5 uh, overs they actually scored around 50 runs 54 runs so that was a good uh, batting performance by ramandeep I mean, singh actually scored uh, 35 of just 17 balls with 1 force and 4 six strike rate 205 and uh, he uh, he was the uh, one who was actually dismissed uh, at 105 when uh, the score reached 105 in the 12th in the first ball of 13th over so you know his wicket was actually picked by pat cummins co- caught by mayam markande and eventually philip salt also dismissed when the score reached uh, 119 in the fifth ball of the 14th over and uh, phil salt actually was uh, we sco- uh, actually scored 54 wicket keeper scored 54 of 40 balls with so 3 4s and 3 6 at a strike of 135 he was uh, dismissed by mayam markande caught by marco jansen and then actually rinku singh actually uh, was joined by and uh, joined with uh, joined partnership with andrew russell and they actually scored uh, briskly and actually they scored at a very high rate and they actually to the score from around 1946 to around 200 in a span of just around 5 overs so they actually scored over 80 runs in just 5 overs around 5 overs so that was an impressive batting performance by both ringo singh and andrew russell andrew russell was particularly severe on uh, the bowlers on the he actually scored 64 of just 25 balls with 3 for 76 at a strike rate of 256 and ringo singh scored 23 15 balls three fours uh, at a strike rate of 153 ringo was on dismissed when the score reached uh, uh, in the first ball of the 20th over and scored 200 and uh, michael star remained out of the six uh, and uh, the actually uh, kkr ended at uh, 20847 20 overs thanks to the excellent batting by andrew russell remained out of the 64 and phil salt scored 50 for 40 balls and uh, ramandi singh scored that by just 78 balls so an excellent batting performance kkr and uh, K- and it actually mean, mean, means that uh, sunrisers hyderabad will be we need to bat very well if they want to chase this target regarding the bowling of uh, sunrisers hyderabad bunesh kumar was expensive four was 150 runs at economy 12 points when paper over narco jansen was uh, also expensive uh, bowl three was meant for 40 at economy 13.3 per over natarajan was a pick of the bowlers it took three for 32 to four overs at economy eight per over and pat cummins was uh, took 1 for 32 for was economy 8 per over i man markande uh, took 2 for 39 for was economy 9.75 per over and shahbaz ahmed uh, bowled only one over even for 14 runs so 
to play sunrises hyderabad actually started with their openers mayank agrawal and abhishek verma so they actually started uh, very positively and actually hit a lot of uh, boundaries of the initial bowlers michael stark and hrish rana they actually did score to around uh, as uh, 60 in the 6th over and they run rate around 9 to 10 runs per over and uh, the first uh, batsman who was dismissed was mayank agrawal he actually scored uh, 32 He was dismissed uh, when he reached 32. He actually scored 32. Twenty one balls, four fours, and one sixes. Reached to the 130, 52. He was dismissed by Harshit Rana, caught by Ringo Singh. And after his dismissal, Rahul Tripathi joined Abhishek Verma. And uh, but Abhishek Verma also dismissed and the score reached 71 in the second ball of the eighth over, when they had a run rate of around 9 to 10 runs per over. Abhishek Sharma scored 32 for 19 balls, four fours, and six sixes. Reached to the 168. He was dismissed by Andrew Russell, caught by Varun Chakravarti. and uh, and then uh, aidin makram joined rahul tripathi but uh, uh, when the score reached 107 in the 12th uh, in the third ball of fourth ball of the 12th over aidin makram was also dismissed aidin makram scored 18 and 13 was a two fourth respectively 138 he was dismissed by varun chakravarti caught by ringo singh and then rahul tripathi was joined by the wicket keeper hendrik clausen But uh, the uh, wickets actually fell continuously, and the uh, uh, Rahul Dravid also dismissed in the fifth ball of the thirteenth over when the score reached one eleven. And uh, then actually Abdul Samad, uh, he was dismissed uh, by uh, Sunil Nair and caught by uh, Harshit Rana. Rahul Dravid scored twenty or twenty balls, and then uh, Hendrik Larsen was joined by Abdul Samad. Abdul Samad and uh, uh, Hendrik Larsen built a partnership of around thirty uh, thirty four runs. So they actually took the score to around 145 in the 17th over, and then Abdul Samad was dismissed for uh, 15. Uh, he scored 15, 11 balls, one four and one sixes. So then uh, Shahbaz Ahmed actually joined Hendrik Larsen, and from around the 16 in the 17th over to till around the uh, 19th over, um, actually uh, from 145 for five, actually uh, uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad reached 203 for six thanks to an excellent batting by Hendrik Larsen. Hendrik Larsen scored 63 uh, of 29 balls with eight sixes. I just liked it at 217. He hit a lot of sixes during that period from uh, the 17th over till 19th over, and actually scored as many as uh, 50 58 runs in this period, from just around uh, 2.3 overs. And uh, and after his dismissal, uh, he uh, after uh, Shahbaz Ahmed dismissed in the third ball on 19th when the score was 203. At that time, KK uh, Sunrise had done okay, just around five runs in the last uh, three balls. But unfortunately, both Sharma Sharma was also dismissed and Hendrik Larsen also dismissed, and uh, they actually ended at two not four four seven in twenty overs. Fell short by four runs. So KK are um, actually won this match by four runs, um, and they actually uh, they were unlucky to win this match uh, because uh, Larsen actually was uh, very destructive, uh, like uh, Andrew Russell for KK. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, the Sunrisers had never entered the losing side. So regarding the bowling of um, KKR, Michael Stark bowled four overs, made fifty-three runs, and came with thirteen point two five per over. Harshit Rana bowled took three for thirty-three four overs, and came eight point two five per over. And Varun Chakravarti bowled uh, took one for fifty-five four overs, and came with thirteen point seven five per over. It is expensive. And Sunil Narayan took one for nineteen four overs, and came with four point seven five per over. He was very pick of the bowlers. And Andrew Russell bowled two overs, went for twenty-five. I come twelve point five per over. And Suresh Sharma bowled two overs, went for eighteen runs. So uh, excellent uh, batting performance by both the teams. But unfortunately, the Sunrisers have both fell short by four runs. So KK are actually picks two points in this match, and uh, both these sides look good as uh, in the in the as in their batting departments are concerned. And they need to actually improve their bowling if they want to restrict their uh, other opponents to within one eighty. And uh, we need to actually watch how these teams performs in the future. So this tournament looks interesting as uh, the matches actually progress, and we are actually expecting a very good tournament in future. The match for this uh, third match between KKR and Sunrisers Hyderabad was awarded to Andrew Russell for scoring uh, 64 runs at just 25 balls and having two t- uh, two wickets of just two overs uh, of uh, that actually uh, resulted in uh, victory for uh, KKR. That resulted in victory for KKR.